Two Florida universities are putting their rivalry aside in the name of education and a good prank. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana explains. We're following breaking news out of Perry, Florida, the location of the now merged University of Florida State. Wait, what? I have thought for a long time how important it would be for us to talk about combining the University of Florida and Florida State University. The presidents of both universities are no longer divided over which school rules. They teamed up for this interview posted on Facebook. What I really like about this is that we will now have the largest research intensive university in the entire nation. We're both preeminent universities, so it's going to be a super preeminent degree. They say graduates will now receive degrees from both universities, which will be based in Perry between Tallahassee and Gainesville. A new mascot hasn't yet been decided. There's no way. No. There's no way. I hate that. Is this for real? Yeah. I don't think you can just up and at him, just combine both of them. Okay, she's right. You probably can't just do that so easily. But hey, it makes for a pretty elaborate April Fool's Day joke. UF changed its profile picture on Twitter to say UF FSU. FSU changed its photo to FSU UF. And the UF school newspaper, the independent Florida Alligator, even played along with its front page. The Florida Board of Governors tweeted about it, and Perry, Florida announced the creation of a light rail system connecting the two college towns. It's really needs to be more about Florida versus the rest of the world and not so much about Gainesville versus Tallahassee. Students are still skeptical. Should they do the Gator Chomp or the Tomahawk Chop? There's no rivalry anymore then. What is this? We all hate Miami? What? Uh, sorry, Elliot, and all you other Hurricanes out there. Of course, Canes fans had plenty of jokes about this prank on social media. See what people are saying. Check out the story on our CBS Miami Facebook page. In the newsroom, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.